Hi, and welcome to Wow Talk. I'm Donna Capacity, a thriving cancer survivor. And I'm her naturopathic doctor, Darlene Gustin. We're here to encourage, educate, and empower you on your journey to optimum wellness. Welcome, Dr. Gustin. I hear that you host a walking club. <laughs> yes. Yes, we call it Doc Walk because we walk and talk. We walk the talk. We live in a fantastic part of the world and we go to the Bronte Harbor or downtown Oakville. So there's there's lots of entertainment when we walk, including our topics of conversation. But it is February now in Canada. And the first Wednesday of February is Winter Walk Day. And it's encouraged that children walk to school that day. And sometimes we have a special event and host a, a, a walk together with our community, with our patients. And in the, the region where we live, it's Walk Month. So it's February. We're all bored and depressed. And we've been in the dark for last six months because the weather is miserable and cold here in Canada. And very so, gray, gray. <laughs> very gray. And uh, and it's just an attempt to get us out of our igloos. Because <laughs> <laughs> you all think we live in igloos. Anyway, um, but, but it gets start getting a little more sunny in February. Even if it's cold, even if there's snow and ice, there tends to be a little more sun. And um, we, we try to do our best to just, you know, take our patients by the hand and say, walk with me, talk with me. And um, sometimes we go for several weeks in a row. Sometimes we have a special walk, hike event. And I love the idea of walking as the ultimate human, of, human form of exercise. I agree. No equipment needed. You can go five minutes, 10 minutes. And like they say, there's no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing, right? That's true. Very true. And there's, yeah. And there's so many different ways of walking. Like some people do intermittent walking where they change the pace faster, slower, and that has different benefits to the metabolism and something simple like walking after a meal can burn off some of the sugar. So that's something I recommend to my patients with complaints about metabolism or blood sugar or pasta lovers who sometimes cave in. Yes. <laughs> and I say, listen, there's no point in feeling guilty. I said, just take a little walk after that meal that indulged to just burn off some of the sugar. And some people like to walk in a fasted state. So there's different health hacks, health tricks that you can get a double benefit. And, and the science says that the benefits of walking even in 10 minute segments, they add up as a lifestyle change. So tying in with the previous episode on heart health, there's no excuse for not being able to walk 10 minutes a day, like um, unless you physically can't walk at the moment. And, um, and it's something you can do with the family, you can do it with the pets, it's, it's just great. And I would like to comment on that and say that Walking can help with weight loss. Once again, you were mentioning how it, it, it is the ultimate exercise. I love that. And for myself personally, I know I've mentioned this before. After I had finished my four years at university and I had at that point, I had no longer been active figure skating. I was a competitive figure skater uh, prior to going away to school. And then I stopped pretty much all my physical activity and um ate a lot of things that weren't as healthy as i was used to eating when i was at home of course and started drinking a little bit and all that and and i found that after the four years i was a couple sizes bigger than i was before anyway that said i did a backpacking trip through europe uh late in that summer after graduation i was gone for a couple of months i carried around a water bottle with me all day and I walked everywhere. And I mean everywhere. That was the only thing I did. And I got right back down to my natural weight, which felt good for me, back into the clothes that I used to love. In fact, I bought new ones because I was in Europe and they have beautiful things. And, and it was the most natural way 
to to uh, lose weight. I have to say, and the and so less painful <laughs> than any other way I've ever tried before. Yeah, isn't it amazing how easy it is to stop from being highly physically active and then stop? Because in my life too, I have um, a history of a lot of dancing. And it was so effortless. You didn't think about it. And then you become a mother, you become a business owner, and there's just not enough time in your life to do that. But I often share a story with my patients um, that I call, you're worth more than 1% of your time. And what that's all based on is I had found myself also, like yourself, I had gained the weight. I was struggling to stay on top of everything. I was running my practice. I had a home. I had the third child. And there just wasn't enough of me to go around. And physical activity just was not in my schedule. And one day, I went for a walk. And I was thinking about what my lifestyle had become, just snuck up on me, that when I monitor my patients, I would see if they did a half hour walk three times per week it was enough physical activity if you're starting from zero that i could measure good things happening i could measure blood pressure coming down i could measure improved body composition less fat more muscle i could measure their adrenal glands their stress glands were calming down and that's all it took to start seeing the benefit of a lifestyle change. And often I would even see those benefits as fast as after one week. And I was on my walk thinking about my own lifestyle and how even I could not pull off three half hour time slots per week. And I'm walking, walking, thinking about this, thinking how I'd let my schedule take over my life instead of me running the schedule. And I thought, no, I'm going to take those half hours. There's 24 hours in a day. That would be 48 opportunities per day to have that half hour walk. Yes. And there's seven days in a week. So I'm doing the math in my head and going, I just want three of those half hour segments for me to go for a walk. And I had come home by now mm -hmm. and I thought, I'm not, I'm not calculating this very good in my head. No, it can't be that number. So I get the calculator out, I punch it in, and I was shocked that those three half hour walks per week represented an embarrassing, pathetic 1.7% of my life. And I got mad at myself. And I thought, I am giving 100% of, of me away to my children, to my family, to my friends, to my patients, to my business, to anything and everything except me. And most of my female patients are in some version of what I just said. Yes. It, it's a natural female thing that we were programmed. Thank you, estrogen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that estrogen uh, affects our brain in a way that it makes us suppress our own needs for the best interest of others, such as a newborn, because who would volunteer to change diapers, right? So, so in biology, estrogen does that to the behavior of a female. And, and one day we wake up and we go, hey, what am I doing? And, and, and that day I had one of those life-changing moments. And from that day, so let's see that child the, that third child in yeah. the story that i had just had three children she's now 20 years old so that means that 20 years ago i had that walk and i've never been the same since and i go out of my way to save a minimum of one and a half hours per week for me mind you it's not always three half hour walks there are different times that I want to do different things. There are times that I would sign up for a class once a week that it would be one and a half hours of meditation or stretching or exercise or swimming. It doesn't matter. It could be for mental health. It could be for physical health. But I promised myself that I would never for the rest of my life give away 100% of myself to 
to the needs of anything and everybody else. Wow. So maybe the title of this podcast is a little off now. <laughs> That's okay. We'll put some together. <laughs> we'll oh Let's rename this. Walking in life balance. <laughs> That's true. And you yeah. are worth more than 1% of your time. Yes, you are. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So I guess before we say goodbye, um, could you just rhyme off a few benefits of walking? Like number well, it's mental health especially if you yes. are walking outdoors in the sunshine and in nature it's good for your lungs your oxygen level it's good for your metabolism it's good for your bone density it's good for your heart health it's good for social mental health you meet people yes, when you're walking. You do. so so it just it just hits all the right spots i love walking it's my favorite exercise prescription to patients Yes, and if you can fit it in for more than 1% of your, your time, my goodness, then, then do it. And uh, thank you. That's very inspirational. And, uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. And thank you all for listening. And if you have any questions or comments, please send them to us. We would love to hear from you. Bye. Happy walking. <laughs> Bye. Bye.